Hey everybody, it's the Cooking Mom, Amy Hanton, and I'm just checking in with you on this Saturday. I, I decided it was so nice today, this afternoon in, in beautiful Sheboygan, Wisconsin, that I was gonna fire up the grill because I hear a lot of you guys are grilling today too. As you know, um, a few weeks ago when everything just got uh, crazy, I, I just couldn't sit around. I was going a little stir crazy, so I decided to um, cook live on Facebook every day. And I've been doing it now for over um, two and a half weeks. And this is my first grilling segment though. So I'm kind of excited about that. So you can see me here just about every day. Well, every day on, on Facebook um, at 3.30. Although tomorrow I'm gonna move things up and do it a little bit earlier because a lot of you are gonna be watching. It's gonna be really fun. The replay of the Packers in the Super Bowl against um, Pittsburgh from years and years ago. So um, I'm gonna move my segment up tomorrow till about 12.30, but I am gonna be cooking here tomorrow on Sunday. So what are you doing today? Uh, we took a beautiful, nice long walk with Arlo. In fact, normally he joins me in the kitchen, but he is pooped. He's so tired, I couldn't even get him to move. So um, anyway, I hope you were, despite everything that's going on, I hope you're um, able to enjoy your Saturday. I, I mentioned on Facebook um, yesterday that uh, Friday nights are just a little different um, and weekends are so different. So what are you doing to make it feel like a weekend? And so many of you said you're cooking something special and I'm right there with you, we are too. So uh, one of my all time favorite, well it is actually, I thought about it long and hard. I love vegetables, I absolutely love vegetables. I actually like vegetables more, more than fruit, confession there. But growing up, I, I, as a kid, I didn't like vegetables um, because they were cooked a little differently. Uh, a lot of the vegetables, um, you know, I ate or was, you know, had in front of me and didn't love so much were really mushy, like mushy zucchini and mushy green beans and, and uh, you get it, mushy broccoli. So I have come to love vegetables, but the big thing is, is, um, you know, don't overcook them. And um, as my good friends Mad Dog and Meryl say, if you grill them, you put a little thrill in them. So, Today, I'm gonna to show you how uh, I do my all-time favorite vegetable, which is asparagus, or as my kids used to say growing up, asparagus. Um, and I'm gonna grill it, and we're gonna have some steaks tonight and asparagus, and it's just gonna be a special night in. Uh, we're gonna watch a good show. Still looking to, as to what to watch, so keep those suggestions coming. This week we watched um, Plowed Through Ozark, and we also uh, got through um, The Tiger King, and both of them were really good. Uh, Tiger King, a little weird, but good. But anyway, keep those ideas coming because we are running out of things to watch in our house and I love your suggestions and I love hearing what you're grilling, if you're grilling today and what you're cooking. All right, let's get to it. So asparagus or asparaguses as my kids used to call them. So first of all, um, I, they were a dollar a bunch at the grocery store and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I, I love asparagus. Um, it's super easy to cook and I love it when it's a little thicker. When it's really thin, pencil thin, I don't love it so much because it's it cooks it can overcook very very quickly. So I like it when it's like medium to even on the thicker side. And some of you guys said um, that you actually pick wild asparagus. I've done that before. If you can find it, it's really fun. So wash it and dry it. And I don't use a knife. I just snap it right in half. I, there's an entire blog on my website uh, on how to pick out asparagus, store asparagus, deal with asparagus. Also a blog by the way. If you're dying to eggs. I have a great blog on step-by-step -step how to have perfect hard-boiled eggs every time. And you just go to my website, thecookingmom.com, and you'll find it. So um, again, just snap off your asparagus. And by the way, you want it, do you see how the tips are nice and tight together? When you're going to pick that out at the grocery store, you want to look um, for, you know, the bunches that have the tips together. When they're all frayed, that means they are not, not fresh. And also, when you get home from the grocery store, when you're storing asparagus, asparagus, um, I always wrap a, a damp paper towel around it and have it in a Ziploc bag, and that keeps the ends really uh, nice and fresh, or you can stir it upright in, in, in water uh, in your refrigerator and put a bag over the top. But, uh, I, you know, I just hate, especially now, I'm trying to go to the grocery store as little as possible. Uh, I wanna get in and get out. Um, and so I, I hate it when the vegetables and things spoil. So we don't want that happening to you. So make sure you, you, you know, when you get it home, you take care of it the right way. All right, so I do this in a Ziploc bag and I've got a, about, a, you know, this is just one bunch of asparagus. 
And then I take a little bit of olive oil. You could also do it, you know, in a bowl, toss it that way. But this keeps it really, you know, nice and neat. And I've got my grill fired up and cleaned. If it's been a while since you've grilled, and let me tell you, it has been. It feels so good to be out here. I can't remember the last time I grilled. I definitely think it was summer, late summer, fall. I guess fall. But anyway, really clean your grill, fire it up, get in there with a brush, wipe it down, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so now I've got my grill to like medium heat because again, these babies cook really, really quickly. And you wanna make sure you put them, you know, against the grates of the grill. You don't want them falling down. So kind of get them on there. We had some steaks in the freezer, so I thawed those out. I think it's one of my favorite dinners is asparagus, steaks, may even do some potatoes and a salad too and have a really nice date night in. They even crack open a, a nice bottle of wine tonight. All right. You get the idea. Pile on that asparagus. This one wants to go its own way, dance into its own tune. And then Make sure and season with salt and pepper. You can even do that in the bag or while it's on the grill. Either one works. I like a good amount of salt and pepper. Boy, that didn't work out too well. Lemon pepper is also really nice. If you want a little garlic, you could throw some garlic in there. Now I'm going to close my grill. And I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes. And then I'm just going to uh, turn them a little bit. Um, but again, I don't want to overcook them. And then I've got a special way to finish that asparagus that makes it really, really delicious. So um, tomorrow, again, I am going to be grilling um, if the weather's permitting. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm grilling or doing it inside, but I have a really delicious recipe, perfect for um, if you're going to be doing a little grill out tomorrow for the, watching that Packer Super Bowl. I've got the perfect recipe for that. Also perfect recipe to go with that Easter ham. One of the things that a lot of you guys said is that Easter, you know, is going to be, and I so agree with you, it's going to be different this Easter. So I've put together a whole bunch of recipes next week that are for a smaller Easter get together. Maybe you're not doing a ham this Easter. Um, and we haven't decided whether we're doing one or not. So I've got some other alternatives. So on Monday, I'm doing a delicious uh, chicken cordon bleu recipe with chicken and ham and Swiss cheese and a delicious sauce. So um, please check back here next week or go to my website. I've got lots of great ideas on my website and I have a free newsletter. If you just go to thecookingmom.com, you can sign up for my newsletter and I send you out free delicious recipes every week. All right, here we go. Back to the asparagus. And I normally just give it a, a quick flip and you can kind of tell it's it's cooking and it's got some grill marks on it but it's still nice and bright green I mean this takes like minutes and I actually like mine a little bit tender crisp and remember just like when you're you know baking cookies there's some carryover cooking time so when you take cookies out of the oven you know and they continue to cook on the tray or when you grill a steak and you take it off the grill and by the way if you are grilling steaks remember let them rest cover them with foil and let them rest for a couple minutes before you just carve right into it um, so there's carryover cooking time so I think we've all had that happen before where you've grilled something like asparagus or vegetables and they look perfect and then you know once you go to eat them they're they get a little mushy so I almost prefer to have them a little underdone so how I finish these is a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice. I love, and a little bit of lemon zest too. If you, you know, I always say, might as well throw some zest on there too. And this is just a, a microplane, and that zest really gives it some extra flavor. Fresh lemon juice. And then my recipe actually calls for um, feta cheese. We didn't have feta cheese. In fact, one of you guys on Facebook um, uh, messaged me, what do you use uh, if you don't have feta cheese? And then I remembered, ah, oh, you're right, I don't have feta cheese. So I'm using some um, really delicious Parmesan cheese. This happens to be from Sartori, a great Wisconsin Parmesan cheese. And when it hits that warm asparagus, it's gonna melt. Um, but even the shaker kind of Parmesan cheese would work. Cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese would be great. Or you could leave the cheese out altogether, but don't leave the lemon out. And then a little bit of crumbled bacon over the top. Maybe you had some bacon for breakfast this morning. Uh, so you can throw a little bit of that over the top. And this is, again, my, one of my all-time favorite ways to do asparagus. Grill it, a little lemon, a little cheese, maybe a little bacon. Really, really simple, but oh, 
so, so good. So um, I'm going to let you go and enjoy the rest of your Saturday afternoon. Um, hopefully you can get some fresh air, maybe take a walk, do some grilling. Uh, and again, if you're looking for this recipe, it's right below in the description or lots of great recipes on my website, thecookingmom.com. Uh, obviously you're following me on, on Facebook, but follow me on Instagram too. I'm posting new pictures and recipes there all the time and I've got a giveaway going on, but you have to follow me on Instagram and you can win one of my favorite Nesco roasters and other products. So just go to Instagram, type in the search, The Cooking Mom and, and follow me and um, we'll have some fun. I post lots of pictures of the dog, Arlo and recipes and all that kind of good stuff. So again, um, I'm gonna check out for now, but I'll meet you right back here tomorrow. Uh, happy grilling everybody and take care. Have a good one.